Dolan Ellis is part of the entertainment fabric of Arizona. He was proclaimed the official state balladeer in 1966, and 12 different governors have made that appointment. Well, I had fond memories of Arizona before I ever even got here. I'm, I'm one of these people, I think that my soul in the last life lived in, in Arizona. An accomplished singer and songwriter, Dolan honed his skills in Phoenix and Scottsdale clubs, playing folk music and songs that spotlighted the Arizona desert and Southwest. I got hired by Portofino's uh, coffee house. They seated about 20 people. And uh, that was really my first really significant gig. In the early 60s, Dolan became an original member of the new Christy Minstrels. They performed as regulars on the Andy Williams TV show and won a Grammy. He still performs with them today. He also opened up his own folk music venue in Scottsdale. I opened a folk club called Dolan's and it was after the new Christy Minstrels and I came back and of course I knew a, a lot of wonderful folk acts in the LA area that had not earned a, a, a national name yet. So I, was, I hired many of these acts to come in uh, to my folk club. Dolan's lasting legacy was confirmed when he established the Arizona Folklore Preserve in Southern Arizona. The Arizona Folklore Preserve, or we, the AFP we call it, um, is in Ramsey Canyon in southern Arizona, which is in the Huachuca Mountains, just south of Sierra Vista. And I said, this would be a great place to celebrate the folklore of Arizona. So we got it built. It's free and clear. Uh, it's owned by the state. It's, it's really gorgeous. Dolan has written and recorded over 300 songs about Arizona. An Arizona storyteller, balladeer, and preservationist Dolan Ellis is truly a renaissance man. People just don't realize, so many people don't realize the importance of music. There's a canyon in a valley in the highlands of Arizona. 